Hey YouTube friends, thank you for joining me for this standing mat workout. So this is actually the perfect workout. If you're sitting at the desk, it's, it's gonna be quick. It's a really good way to just really focus on mobility. And that means moving your body in lots of different directions using some traditional Pilates mat work, but standing. So let's get started. I'm gonna begin just kind of loosening up the back. And this is great if you have been sitting for a long time, we're gonna do a roll down. So standing with your feet about shoulder distance apart and shoulders open here, standing at your full height, take a deep breath in through your nose. And then as you exhale, blow through pursed lips and roll down from head to tail and just let everything kind of stretch down there. Take a deep breath in when you're down there and then exhale and roll all the way back up to the top. That should feel really good. Breathe in and exhale, roll down through. Try to articulate your spine, meaning one segment at a time. On the way up, that would be from bottom to top and all the way to the top. Take a deep breath in and then exhale and rolling down. It's head first, then upper back, mid back, lower back, then let your hips stretch forward a little bit. And again, roll all the way up to the top. One more time, deep breath in and exhale. Flexing forward. The arms just hang, we're not really reaching them at this point. And then roll back up and come all the way up to the top. Then just take your arms out to the side. Your palms are gonna be facing down and bring your arms forward so that your hands are in your peripheral vision. We're gonna do our spine twist. I want you to turn as far as you can to one side and then adjust. You wanna make sure that your hips are square to the front the whole time here. We're moving our rib cage, which means that we're gonna be really working through those obliques and twisting the spine rather than the hips. Rotate to the other side as far as you can go and then come back. Rotate and I want you to think of the arms coming with you, not really leading the way. Your rib cage is turning. That's what's making everything happen and come back and we're going to inhale inhale as you turn and exhale back to center inhale as you turn and exhale back to center and you can add a pulse so you turn as far as you can you release you try to go a little further one more time and back to center let's do that to the other side so it's inhale release inhale more release inhale more and exhale to the center again turn a little further make sure the hips are aimed forward and center and again turn a little further, a little further, and back to the center. Breathe in for two and three, and back to the center, and turn. A little further, a little further. Let's do one more to each direction. Turn, and turn, and turn, and back to center, and to the other side. One, two, three, and back. All right, just take your hands and place them behind your head now. And we're gonna do a side bend. So breathe in. As you exhale, just flex over to one side, drawing your rib and hip together and come up to the top. Stand nice and tall, breathe in. And then go to the other side. And come back up. And again, drop your head, slide your ribs toward your hips and come back up. And really take it as far as you can here so you feel the stretch on that oblique and come back up and exhale, inhale to come up tall, and exhale over, inhale to come up tall. Let's do it again, right over to the side, and bring it back up, and over to the other side, and draw it back up, again, right over, and up, and one more time, over to the side, reaching over, and come up. Now let's combine rotation and flexion. So arms out to the side with your palms forward. We're gonna take our feet just a little bit wider than shoulder distance. Rotate to one direction, breathing in. Now exhale, flex down over that leg, taking your hand on the outside of your baby toe. And then come back up and come back to center. So this is the standing saw. Breathe in and turn. Now exhale and reach. Now even though the bottom hand is reaching down, you still want that top hand reaching toward the ceiling. That's gonna help you in that rotation. Come on back up, breathing in and exhale back to the center. Breathe into turn. Exhale, flex over and reach. Inhale up and exhale back to center. Let's do it again. Breathe in and turn and exhale, reach the hands away from each other. Come on back up 
and back to center. Breathe in, exhale, over that leg. Inhale, come back up. Exhale to the center. Now your eyes should be looking past your thigh down here. That's it, and coming up and back to the center. So rotate. If you get your eyes looking toward the wall behind you, past your thigh, you're gonna have your head in the right position. And again, rotate, flex over. Come out of the flexion first, then turn back to the front. One more each side, breathe in, and exhale, flex over. Come back up, and back to the center. Rotate, and flex. Up, and center, and you can lower your arms. Now bring your feet so that they are not all the way together, about hip distance apart. Then you can either, now this one is a balance one, so if you don't wanna really uh, challenge your balance, just use a chair and hold on to the back of it, or up against a wall or table or something like that. Otherwise, just have your hands out here. We're gonna do a variation on what's the double leg kick from the mat work. So what I'm gonna do is bend one knee and pulse it into my seat, one, two, Three. Then I'm gonna extend the knee. I'm gonna lift the leg out and to the side behind me. So about 45 degree angle and bring it back down. Now the other side, flex the foot. Try to touch your seat with your heel. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, reach back and lower down. Other side, exhale, squeeze that hamstring. One, two, three. Now reach away and come down. Other side and pulse, one, two, three. Reach it long and stretch it away, and down. Again, exhale, one, two, three. Now inhale, reach it away and lift, and lower it down. Other side, pulling in, heel to seat, two, three. Now stretch it away, work the glute, lift the leg, turn it out, and back down. Other side, exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, reach and lower it down. Other side again, one, two, three. Extend and lift, turn it out, and bring it down. And one, two, three, and reach, and bring it down. Other side, exhale, one, two, three. Now hold onto your abs as you reach, pull them in tight, and lower. One more time on each side. And one, two, really squeeze it. Then reach it away and lift, and bring it down. Other side, and one, Two, three, reach it, and bring it down. Relax the arms, shake out the legs. Now we're gonna do an exercise called the breast stroke. For this one, you're gonna bend your elbows, bringing your hands up, palms forward, and you're gonna reach up toward the ceiling. As you do that, you just lift your chest a little bit. So you're in a little bit of extension through the back. Then you're gonna reach the arms out, reaching the fingertips toward the opposite wall, and then toward the floor, and then back behind you, keeping the elbows long, lifting the chest now even more for extension. Breathe in, and then exhale, reach up. Inhale, open, reach back, lift the chest, open back, really get a good stretch across the front of the shoulders, and reach up, stretch up toward the sky here. Open the arms, reaching the fingertips as far away as you can, and then down and back, and exhale, dive into water. Inhale, pull yourself up out of that water. And again, exhale, reach up. And inhale, open back, reach, reach, reach. Really exaggerate that reach. And two more, reach up. <sighs> inhale, open back. And one more, exhale, reach up. And inhale, open back. Now bring your arms back up. Lift your sternum just a little bit so you're in just a slight amount of extension. And we're gonna do a slow variation on swimming, but just the arms. So one arm is gonna come back. This is the arm that I wanna focus on. It's gonna come back and get that really good stretch here across the front of the shoulder and the pack, and then switch. The other arm just comes forward as much as that opposite arm is going back. And you're gonna inhale for two and exhale for two. Feel that shoulder and lat stretch. Inhale for two and exhale for two. Think about getting that arm further back there. For two, and exhale for two. Again, breathe in for two, and exhale for two. Last time, breathe in for two, exaggerate it, and exhale for two, and come back, 
and down. Now your feet are still about hip distance apart. We're gonna warm up the hips and knees here and the ankle joints. You're gonna come down into a squat here, long spine, and you're just gonna sink a little deeper and come up. So come down, pulse, and up. Come down, pulse down further, and up. And sink, try to keep the back long from head to tail. And down, sink, press up. And inhale. Deeper, exhale, press up. Breathe in, a little deeper, and up. Breathe in, a little deeper, and up. One more, breathe in, a little deeper, and up. Now, take the legs out, turn them out, and take them wide, wider than shoulders. Sink down here, and then lift the heels, lower the heels, and press up. So inhale, exhale, lift the heels. Inhale, lower the heels, exhale, press up. When you lift your heels, don't roll to the baby toe. Try to keep the weight centered on the ball of the foot. Lower the heels and up. Again, sink, knees tracking over the center of the feet. Lift the heels, lower and press. Two more, sink, lift the heels, lower, and one more time, breathe in, exhale, inhale, drop the heels, and come up. Guys, if you liked this workout, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you want longer workouts with notes, go to johngarytv.com. I hope that you enjoyed this quick standing mat workout, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye, everybody.